Hey everybody, George Donnelly here. So, how are you doing today? Well, scaling, right? This is an extremely important topic in Bitcoin Cash, one of the most basic, really. Um, we need to increase the block size. Well, that's what people say, right? People, some, I sometimes see Reddit threads, people saying, you know, we just need to increase the block size. We gotta keep up, you know? Um, but here's the thing, I consider that an old paradigm at this point. That's, that's an old game. It's a tired game, right? We've already seen how, uh, for example, BSV plays that game by um, just like stuffing, you know, random, random stuff into the blockchain, right? And then they're like, yeah, we got like gigabyte blocks, but you know, like I can also like make a bajillion copies of like photos of my cat and stuff that into a MySQL database and even into like, um, you know, I forget what that's called, but you know, just like have a whole collection of servers and like the databases, you know, synced across the servers and whatnot. And you know, hey, I got a 50 gigabyte MySQL database. Nobody can beat that, you know, which I'm sure they can, but anyway, like it's it's a stupid game. It's a stupid game because it's it's imaginary. It's imaginary. It has no relationship to reality. Um, and that's what in Bitcoin Cash we need uh, in order to scale up the blocks, uh, a connection to to real stuff, a connection to real economic activity, right? So, um, you know, if that's uh, NFTs, if that's SLP tokens, um, you know, if that's any hedge covenants, you know, uh, if that's uh, noise.cash uh, tips, I mean, I think that's all good stuff. That's all good, right? That's real. That has, an, that has a strong element of real, right? Uh, you know, it could even be just testing like the, the any hedge testing a D token, but that's still real because it's real testing. And in fact, you, I, when, when that was still active, you could go to D token and, you know, long 10 bucks and, you know, you were playing with real Bitcoin cash. I mean, that's real economic activity. So when people say we have to, we have to increase the block size. That's an old game. There's no point in playing that game anymore. What we really need to do is just more people. As I've been saying, we need to onboard more people, more users. We need to find situations, especially cross-border situations, where Bitcoin Cash can have real utility, right? Or situations like Cuba, which is, even though they legalized crypto, I mean, they still have a lot of limits, right? Um, you know, I mean, we need to grow transactions legitimately. I, I, there's no point in, you know, playing Looney Tunes on the blockchain. There's just no point with it. Um, yeah. So, like, so how do we do that? Well, uh, you know, I think noise.cash, read.cash, as I've said before, those are the leading projects. They are adding the most value in this area. We need more projects like that. Now, I have a business plan for remittances. It's 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 a bit stale at this point, frankly. Uh, you know, I submitted it to the two hundred million dollar ecosystem fund. Uh, I don't know, nineteen months, eighteen, nineteen months ago. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'll I'll have something new out for twenty twenty two. But we need to think big like that. We need to think about those specialized apps or specialized use cases. You know, um, I, I kind of hoped, I thought Suite.io was going to be one of them, but they went off and built on Matic. Um, you know, maybe uh, the, some of the smart BCH could be one, right? Because of traffic uh, going back and forth, uh, you know, people onboarding and offboarding, right? Uh, entering in a fiat on-ramping and, and not fiat, <laughs> on-ramping and off-ramping. So, um, you know, I think onboarding a whole country, right? Like what BTC, uh, it's not even BTC, what Lightning and Strike did in El Salvador. 
However, doing it entirely voluntarily <laughs> without, uh, you know, getting the government to mandate it, I think that could be interesting, right? Uh, you know, I think picking up some of the uh, top uh, 50 cities across the developing world in terms of population and onboarding them, turning them into model cities, right? Um, you know, I did an interview with Andrew Stone of Bitcoin Unlimited uh, earlier this year, I think, in which he had an idea about uh, ticketing, right? Tickets, uh, tickets for events and whatnot. I think that has promise, right? We need to think about, um, you know, solving real problems. I think that, you know, with these different cities in the developing world that we are building up, I think that we can do field research and discover, um, you know, opportunities there as well. Uh, but it can't just be about, um, you know, having, uh, you know, a millionaire, um, you know, slowly distribute, you know, small amounts of BCH to, to people who frequently are just beggars. Yeah. Um, you know, it needs to be real. So anyway, I, I think that's, you know, I would like to hear your opinion on scaling uh, Bitcoin Cash, but, um, you know, transaction count has been up this year. Uh, I, it, I haven't looked at it too closely recently, but even after um, Noise.Cash, uh, you know, started batching their transaction, their payout transactions, I believe transaction count on, on chain has gone up. So, uh, you know, we're, we're making good progress there, but that's, that's what we need to focus on. You know, if you want to see block size go up, help us make it go up, right? Help, help create the demand, yeah? And there's also an argument that says, well, we need to be prepared. You know, like, we don't want to fall into the same mistake that BTC coin make and made. And I agree completely. Um, but like, it, you know, all it's everyone here is committed to scaling. Everyone who, who makes the decisions about how about this, the, the size, uh, the, you know, just that that one little configuration uh, value uh, in the block size is committed to scaling. So um, I don't know. I just don't see it as a problem. There is literally nobody in Bitcoin Cash who says we must limit the block size to eight megabytes or 32 megabytes or whatever. Literally, there is no one saying that. So uh, yeah. So anyway, that's that scaling. Let's keep uh, scaling uh, Bitcoin Cash. You know, the uh, the work uh, that uh, Jonathan Tumim and others did on ScaleNet is very encouraging. Huge blocks. Uh, our, we can scale the huge blocks. Now we just need the economic activity. So let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.